Hi, I'm back. For our new viewers, my name is Anushri Ramakrishnan and I'm from the Ayurvedic Life, where our mission is to show you that the ancient science of Ayurveda is not just relevant today, but can actually bring about alignment and balance into your life. Uh, allergy season is upon us, so hay fever, rhinitis, sneezing, runny noses, colds, coughs, asthma, sinus congestion, infections, um, sore throats are all doing their rounds and keeping some of us away from work and play. A lot of my friends and students have been asking me for uh, an Ayurvedic remedy for spring allergy symptoms. So here goes. The remedy is a tea. Okay, um, and I'm going to break this up and make it first, uh, give you first a simple version. So the simple version of this tea is just going to have three ingredients that most of you can find easily in your kitchen. Ginger, lemon, and raw local honey. Okay, so um, into your hot cup of water, you can either peel, grate, extract the juice of a, gin of, of a little piece of ginger. This is totally up to your preference, how much you want to use, and add that into the uh, hot water. Lemon juice, again, according to your tastes and preferences and size, um, and raw local honey. Okay, so that's it. These are the three basic ingredients. Things to pay attention to. When you are, when you add honey into the tea, do not heat it after that. Because heating honey is considered like almost toxic in Ayurveda and is believed to have negative effects uh, on the body. Now you can use fresh ginger or dried ginger. That's up to your preference and what you have available. Um, okay, so these are the basic ingredients. Now I'm going to give you some ingredients that are um, extra. Okay, so these are not that easy to procure. Maybe not all of you have it in your kitchens. So these ingredients are holy basil or tulsi, cinnamon, cloves, and trikatu. Okay, so holy basil or tulsi is a leaf, so you can use it either in fresh form or a dried form. Uh, it's great for the respiratory system. Cinnamon and cloves, most of us have seen, and you can use that either in the whole form or in the powdered form. Um, trikatu, I'm sure is, is new for most of you. It's a very common uh, spice mix and very well known in Ayurveda. It is a mix of three different spices, dried ginger, black pepper and long pepper. Long pepper is also called pipali in Sanskrit. Now if you're using trikatu, since it already has dried ginger in it, you can skip uh, the fresh ginger that I talked about earlier. It's up to you. I mean if you want to do both that's fine. But remember ginger is very pungent and heating so you know trial and error at first will help you start slow. Trikatu is also extremely sharp, pungent and warming so start slow and see how much you can take. Um, Alright, I think I've covered it all. Uh, so spring allergies are considered a kapha aggravation for Ayurveda. Kapha's qualities are heavy, uh, moist and uh, cold. So all the antidotes that balance kapha would be opposite in quality. So they would be light, dry and warming. Also the tastes that favor a balancing of kapha aggravation uh, is uh, our bitter, bitter taste, pungent and astringent. Okay? Now honey, even though it's sweet, is, is actually uh, kapha balancing uh, because it has a heating post-digestive effect and it's also a great demulcent for an irritated or an inflamed throat. Um, lemon is sour, but it's, you know, it's a great source of vitamin C, it's, uh, it boosts immunity and it's also great for cutting that phlegm and mucus. Uh, it strengthens your respiratory system. Okay, so drinking this tea consistently is going to uh, increase warmth in the body, cut the phlegm and the mucus, strengthen your respiratory system, uh, and also just you know act as a, acts as a demulcent to calm that irritation in your throat when spring allergies set in. Um, in addition, this tea is really really good for strengthening the digestive fire or agni. And it also helps to cut through toxic buildup or ama. And both these are considered root causes. So the, a poor digestive fire and a buildup of toxic uh, material or ama are considered root causes of allergies. So consistent uh, usage of this tea, drinking it on a regular basis through the day, 
is really going to help um, eradicate the root causes of your allergies. Be patient though. All right, I hope you will try this tea and I hope you will let me know how it goes and have a great day. Thank you.